Yo guys, what is going on? Sizer here. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be doing the top suggested mixes from the G Fuel community. So I have five mixes in front of me that I'm going to be doing. Um, by the way, before this video starts, I just wanted to let you guys know that a new shaker just dropped about two hours ago. This is the Royal Breach Shaker Cup. This is for King George. He's a Rainbow Six player. Um, so you guys can pick that up if you want. That would be Shaker Cup number 213. I picked it up. Let me know if you guys do. But let's get straight into the first mix. So the first mix that I'm going to be doing is going to be Black on Blackberry mixed with Hype Sauce. So these two flavors, I, I kind of have a feeling it might taste a little bit like the boysenberry, the Bobby boysenberry that is releasing later this month on February 17th. The pre-orders for the collector's box I think are already sold out along with the tubs, but they should be restocking around the 17th. But a boysenberry, if you guys do not know, is a mixed berry. It's a mix between a European raspberry and a European blackberry. So I just kind of am assuming because Hype Sauce is a raspberry lemonade and then black on blackberry, obviously just a blackberry flavor. So I'm going to be mixing them and see how that would taste. I currently have this mix in the Nade Shot Orange Shaker Cup. Really nice shaker cup, really old shaker cup. At this point, let's go ahead and mix that. It's this really dark purple color. It's, um, yeah, it's a really, really dark purple. Let's go ahead and give it a smell. I primarily smell the blackberry, not too much raspberry. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. And you know what? It's not that bad. It almost tastes like a, like a blackberry lemonade. I don't really get too much of the raspberry from the hype sauce, but I'm getting a lot of the lemonade flavor mixed with the blackberry actually tastes pretty, pretty good. Next up, one of my subscribers actually told me to mix these two. They said mix sour phase berry right here and pink grapefruit they said that this was a really good mix so we're gonna try it see what it is see if it tastes good he said that the person said that the the tartness of pink grapefruit actually ended up counteracting the sourness of the sour phase berry so we will see i guess with this mix right here i have this mix in the coral floral shaker cup which released sometime last year but yeah, here it is. Getting just the half scoop of the pink grapefruit. There we go. We got the half scoop of pink grapefruit and the half scoop of sour phaseberry in there now. Let's go ahead, mix it up and give it a try. This is gonna be a nice, uh, almost pinkish orange color. That's what it looks like to me. Almost looks like a, almost like a sherbet color. Really, really cool looking. Let's give it a smell. And I primarily smell that tart, tart grapefruit. I don't really smell too much phaseberry. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Oh, wow. That is super, super refreshing. To me, it almost does taste like a sherbet, like an orange sherbet almost. But that is pretty, pretty good. Next up, we have another mix suggested by a subscriber. This is Phase X mixed with PewDiePie. I think this might this might be pretty promising. So PewDiePie, it's like a almost like a tart cherry flavor, and then Phase X is a nice like glacier cherry flavor. So it's going to be a very strong cherry flavor, seems like, but it's going to be. It's going to be weird because one is tart and one is like almost like a, a soothing, cooling uh, sensation. So we will see. I bet you this pa this uh, the color is probably going to be like a nice pink color because Phase X is white. PewDiePie is like a nice red. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty similar to the... Uh, almost similar to the last mix. The last mix is a little bit darker. But here we go. Let's go ahead and give it a smell. I mainly smell the Phase X. 
I don't really smell the PewDiePie all too much. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. And that is actually a really, really good mix. It's very cherry. It's a lot of cherry in it, but not really like an artificial cherry. It's more like a, like a natural cherry color or flavor. And it's very sweet. And the tartness, you get hit with the tartness of the PewDiePie at the very beginning. And then it kind of mellows out afterwards. But that is actually a pretty, pretty good mix. Next up, we're going to be doing Scorpion Sting mixed with Ice Shatter. A lot of other G Fuel YouTubers have been doing this mix. They've been mixing Scorpion Sting with Ice Shatter. I have this in the Winter White Shaker Cup. The last one I had in the Winter White base with just a random black top. But here we go. This is going to be the Ice Shatter and Scorpion Sting. I've been hearing mixed thoughts on this mix. Uh, people saying that it's good. People saying it's bad. We're going to have to see for ourselves. I think it might be, it might be all right. But let's go ahead. We got the half scoop of Ice Shatter. And then we have to get the half scoop of Scorpion Sting. Let's try not to breathe in the cayenne that's in this. Because there definitely is cayenne in that. And that cayenne will make us cough. We do not want that. That is the Scorpion Sting in that. Perfect. I got a little bit of the cayenne in my throat. I can definitely taste it. I can definitely smell it. Kind of tickling the back of my throat a bit. But here we go. It's this uh, almost, I want to say like piss yellow color. <laughs> it's more like a golden color. I would say it's more like a golden color. Looks looks pretty promising. Looks looks kind of promising. Let's go ahead and give it a smell. I primarily smell the scorpion sting with a very, very subtle smell of the ice shatter afterwards. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Ooh. Ooh, no. No. It almost tastes like a like a spicy blueberry. And spice and blueberry, I feel like, don't really go together. So because of that, that's gonna that's gonna be a pass for me. And then last but certainly not least, we're gonna be trying Scorpion Sting mixed with peach rings to see if it is like peach mango, which has been vaulted for quite a while. I'm not too sure if it's ever coming back, but it has definitely been vaulted for a bit. So this, in my opinion, is probably the only way to get a peach mango taste now that peach mango is vaulted. Because, of course, Scorpion Sting is a spicy mango, and then Peach Rings is just a nice peach flavor. So here we go. We get half a scoop of each. The shaker, I the shaker cup I have for this one is the Gamma Gold. This released back when Gamma Labs was still around, and they did the 24K pre-workout formula. But let's go ahead and mix this up. This is a nice dark orange color. Very peachy almost. Here it is. It's this nice dark orange peach color. Let's go ahead and give this one a taste. And you know what? The spice is kind of gone in it. I kind of don't really taste the spice at all. I don't really taste the spice too much, but it's very, very peachy. I might've added too much peach rings to that, but you can definitely taste the peach and the mango. I wouldn't say it's identical to the original peach mango formula, but it is the best we could get right now. But yeah, out of all these mixes, I would say that uh, this one right here, the pink grapefruit and sour face berry would probably be my favorite. This right here, I just thought was really, really refreshing and really good. Either this one, or the the hype sauce and black on blackberry mix that one was also really really good but let me know your thoughts let me know more mixes down in the comments below and i could definitely make another video of this doing another five mixes and reviewing it for you guys but hopefully you guys did enjoy the video let me know if you would try any of these mixes but i will see you all in the next one